Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to install OwnCloud on CentOS 7. So OwnCloud is similar to Dropbox, but you install it on your own server and it gives you full control over it. Then you can install the client on your PC, on your phone, and you can put files up to it and sync files down from it. To follow along with this tutorial, there's a few prerequisites. So you'll need to have Apache installed, MariaDB installed, you'll need to have SE Linux disabled, and you'll need to know about Let's Encrypt if you're going to put your site over HTTPS. I'll link all the relevant videos below and I'll touch on them when we cross those points in the tutorial. So I have most of the commands that we need here copied and pasted to save some time. So what we'll do is I will put them in the comments below and you can paste them if needs be. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna pop in here is sudo rpm dash dash import and this URL here. So basically I'm just importing the key that will allow us to uh, use to access the own cloud package. So I'm just gonna click enter on this now. And if you're prompted, pop in your password. Okay, perfect. So next now we're gonna download the own cloud repository file. So I'm gonna put in sudo curl capital L and this command here, and I'm going to click enter. Okay, that looks like it's done. So now I'm just gonna clean my cache to make sure that Yum is aware of the changes we've made. Okay, I'll do that. Perfect, all looks good. Okay, so now we're going to install on cloud. So the command for this is sudo yum install on cloud. Okay, so hopefully now we should see it begins to download for us. Okay, and this is looking good. It is beginning to go off and fetch the packages. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pause the video here while this does its thing. Okay, when prompted, uh, type in Y for yes and hit return, and it will start to download and install the packages. I'll pause the video here again. Okay, perfect. So we can now see that OwnCloud has been downloaded and installed. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to create our OwnCloud database. So I'm gonna type in sudo mysql minus u, root minus p and uh, when prompted enter your password for your database perfect so i'm in here now so what i am going to do is i'm going to create the database for our own cloud so i'm going to type in here create database own cloud perfect we've done that now so now we just need to grant permissions on that database to allow OwnCloud to access it. So I have a command here on my clipboard. So it's grant all on OwnCloud to OwnCloud localhost identified by password 123. Um, if you're using a live system, you'll want to replace this with a secure password of your choosing. So let's click OK, enter on that and that all looks good. So now just to finish off, let's just flush our privileges here to make sure all those updates take effect. Perfect, okay, and let's exit out of SQL here. Okay, now that we've done all that, let's pull up our browser window here and let's check our installation. Okay, so we wanna go localhost forward slash on cloud. Okay, and we're getting an error. So this error is in relation to SE Linux. So I'm just going to disable it on the fly here. I'm gonna do so by typing in sudo set enforce zero and press return. And we'll go back to our browser here and click refresh. Perfect, and the error is gone. Doing that command only disables SE Linux for the time you're logged on to the server, the server's powered on. So if you reboot your server, you'll see this error again. I have another video that shows how to disable SE Linux permanently. So I'll leave that in the description below and you can follow along to that video. Okay, so it's looking for us to create an admin account and also to select our storage and database. So I'm gonna leave the data as that, that's fine, that path, but I'm gonna use MySQL MariaDB. So 
our database user let me just check here what we selected so it was own cloud so let's put in own cloud and the password we selected was password one two three database name was own cloud and let's just i'm going to just type in darren for my admin account uh, I'm going to type in a password here as well. It's going to choose a weak one for the moment. Okay, and let's click finish setup here. Can close this here. And I'll just pause here while this is finishing. Perfect, and you can see we've now installed OwnCloud. You'll be prompted to download it on your... Uh, you can download the client on your phone, on your desktop. You can see you have some files here and you can begin to populate it. You will, for security purposes, be best to, pop to put this over HTTPS. You can do so for free using Let's Encrypt. So I'll also link that below. If you run into any difficulties, be sure to comment below and if I can help, I certainly will. Thanks for watching.